Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about genetic code and codons. So before I start talking about genetic code and codons, I want to start with the basic concepts, the DNA. So the DNA is a double helical structure and the nucleotide bases present in the DNA are thymine, cytosine, adenine, guanine. So basically these uh, a, M, G, C, and A, T, you know, they form the bone and they form this double helical structure. In the DNA, these are the uh, nucleotide bases present. So, the structure of which I have shown here, this is thymine, this is cytosine, this is adenine, and this is guanine, okay? A, G, C, T, these are the nucleotide bases of DNA. Whereas, in RNA, in place of thymine, T, we have uracil. Okay, U, C, A, Z, that is uracil, cytosine, adenine, and guanine. These are the nucleotide bases. So, um, unlike DNA, RNA is a single-stranded structure. Okay, so in RNA, the difference is that we have uracil in place of thymine. So I also want to uh, give you the brief idea of what is central dogma of molecular biology. So basically in central dogma of molecular biology, we get from DNA, DNA makes RNA, that process is called transcription, and RNA makes proteins, that is called translation. So this is the central dogma of molecular biology. For, this is how the, the flow of genetic information occurs. <clears throat> okay? So now, now I have given you the basic idea about DNA, RNA, and uh, and the central dogma of molecular biology. Now I want, you, I want to talk to you about genetic code and codons. So basically, what is a genetic code? The genetic code is a sequence of nucleotide bases in a nucleic acid, DNA, and RNA. And that code for amino acid chains in a protein. <clears throat> okay? So the genetic code is nothing but it's a sequence of nucleotide bases in nucleic acids. That is either RNA or DNA, that code for amino acids, amino acid chains in the proteins. So the, basically, what is a codon then? Codon is actually three continuous nucleotide bases that code for an amino acid signal or the signal that codes for the beginning or end of a protein, uh, protein synthesis process. Okay, so these triplet sets actually, they provide the instruction for the production of amino acids, and these amino acids link together to form proteins. Okay, so now, have a look at this picture here. So this picture here shows 64 codons, okay? This picture here sh shows 64 codons. So codons, what are the codons? They, these codons are three continuous nucleotide bases. For example, U, 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 C, these are the codons. And these two codons, they code for um, phenylalanine. So where, where is uh, this? I talked about codons. And codons are the, these con con the three continuous nucleotide bases that code for an amino acid. Right? So, this picture here, you know, you, we have shown here first letter, second letter, and third here. So, basically, the codons come in the three, codons have three nucleotide bases. U, 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 it can be U, 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 it can be U, U, C, it can be U, A. Either they code for amino acids, for example, let's say C, U, U, C, U, C, C, U, A, and C, U, C. They code for leucine, right? But th th there is a, there is a codon U U A. This is this is a stock codon. It doesn't code for anything. It it is a stock codon. Okay. Similarly, U A Z. It also doesn't code for anything. It's a stock codon. And U Z A. It doesn't code for anything. It's a stock codon. So codon can be a start codon. Mostly the in general start codon is A U Z. That codes for methionine. So the summary of this slide is that the genetic code is the sequence of nucleotide bases in the nucleic acids, DNA and RNA, that code for amino acids in a protein. So codons are three continuous nucleotide bases that code either for an amino acid or are, or are stop codons or the start codons. Okay, so this is the definition of genetic code and codons. So now, like I explained in, in the previous slide, so there are different types of codon. Codons can be normal, start codon, stop codon, and normal codon. So start codon is AUZ, methionine, as you can see here, it codes for one protein, that's, sorry, one amino acid, that is methionine. And there are three different stop codons, that's UZA, UAZ, and UUA. Okay, so UZA, this is a stop codon, and what is the another one? So stop codon here is UAZ, 
Okay, so this is UAZ, third stop codon, and UAA. So this is another stop codon. So basically, in total, there are three stop codons, and in general, UAUZ is methionine is a start codon. And there are normal codons, for example, it's GCU, GCC, GCA, GCG. These, these codons actually they code for uh, amino acids. Okay, normal codon code for amino acids. Okay. So now that I have talked about different types of codon, now I want to talk to you about reading frames. So start codon is really critical because it determines where the translation will begin on the mRNA. That's why it's the start codon. Start codon, it determines where the translation begins on mRNA. That's why it's called start codon. And the position of start codon also determines the reading frame or how the mRNA sequence is divided up into different groups of three nucle nucleotides inside the ribosome okay so the position of star codon determines the reading frame reading frame is what it is it is the uh, it, it tells how the mrna sequence is divided up into different groups of nucleotides in, in inside the ribosome okay so the same nucleotide sequence the sequence the, it can encode completely different polypeptides depending on the frame in which it is read. Okay, so example here, because I talked a lot of theory here, so I'm going to give you an example. For example, let's say that, let's take example of this nucleotide sequence. If this nucleotide sequence is read from the first, first nucleotide base, UCA, right? Then, so, one, two, three, UCA, and then UZA, so stop codon. So it will be stopped here. Okay, so it's read from, and this is the frame one. So frame one is from here to the stop codon. So in case of frame two, if you if we read from letter number two, C C A U is it goes for his histidine and G G A U asparagine C U G leucine valine and arginine and so on. So this is a frame two. Here still we have not uh, received the stop codon. But in case of frame three, if we read from letter third. So A, so A U Z, it's a start codon, course for methionine. This is the, uh, this, this is actually this is the start codon. In these cases, they, they were not the normal start codons. Okay, but here you have to, um, you have to remember, remember that this A U Z is the start codon, and this course for methionine, and this is the position, uh, and this, and that's why this this reading frame is chosen. Okay, how which reading frame will be chosen? This reading frame will not be chosen because this is not a start codon. This reading frame will not be chosen because this is not a start codon. This reading frame will be chosen because here we have the start codon. Okay? And so, uh, again, uh, after a start codon, we have the AUC, this course for um, isoleucine, and we have UCZ, this course for serine, and UAA, this is a start codon. Okay? So, this reading frame will be actually translated into amino acids, which will be linked together to form uh, the protein. Okay? So this is the idea about, so, so the, the synopsis of this slide is that from the same nucleotide sequence, depending on the reading frame, depending on the position of the start codon, we can get different polypeptides, okay? It depends from where the, the frame is read. Good. So the start codon, it, it, it determines the, determines which frame is chosen and thus ensures the correct polypeptide is formed, you know? like explained so we have many codons actually that are coding for one amino acids so the thing is that in the, the genetic code this table this consists of 64 unique codons okay these all codons are unique there are 64 unique codons but we only have 20 amino acids okay there are only 20 amino acids we have 64 codons and so let's say we have three stop codons so then what what happens to these other remaining codons? Because three stop codons and 20 amino acids, so 323. And what about, okay, one start codon, A, U, Z, methionine, but still the amino acid. So what about the other codons? What happens to these? The answer to this question is that the, the genetic code is actually degenerate. Degenerate, it means that uh, the same amino acid can be coded by more than one codon. Okay, for example, I want to give you an example here. For example, take the example of leucine. Leucine is coded by UUA, UZZ, CUU, CUC, CUA, CUZ. These all codons, they code for leucine. If this codon is translated, we will get leucines. Even if this is translated, we will get leucine. 
If this is translated, we will get leucine. So any one of these codons, you know, CUU, CUC, CUA, CUZ, whichever is translated, we are going to get the amino acid uh, leucine. Okay, so there are many codons. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six codons actually coding for one amino acid. So that's why the codons they are actually degenerate. Okay, so this was this is one example, but there are some other examples also. For example, the codon AUZ, it codes for only uh, meth methionine, this amino acid. This is coded by only one codon, and this codon is AUZ. Okay, so the methionine is coded by only one codon, and this is AUZ. For, similarly, the other only one codon, uh, tryptophan is also coded by only one codon. Okay, tryptophan UZZ, it is coded by UZZ. So, the what I want to give you the message here in this lecture is that these codons, genetic, these are actually the genetic code. It turns out to be degenerate. That means that is more than one codon can code for one amino acid, the same amino acid. So example I showed here, CUU, CUC, CUA, whichever is translated, it codes for actually leucine. This also codes for the same, this for the same, and this for the same. Okay, so. So most of the amino acids in the genetic code, they are encoded by at least two codons. Yes, that is true. And the last point that I want to mention here is that methionine and tryptophan, they are the only amino acids that are coded by one single codon, uh, that, are, that, are, that are specified by one single codon. Okay, so this is the brief description on the genetic code and the degeneracy, uh, degenerate genetic codes. Thank you very much, everyone.